Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Lender squad? It is Try Hard Thursday. Um, I'm recording this at 9 p.m. at night, so more than likely, this will be going up Friday rather than Thursday. Um, I was looking up health care plans today, and I got stressed out, and I went to my parents' house, and we talked to them, and then I came home, and then I took a nap. So you could say my work ethic is not the best right now, but also, debatably... The nap was more important. <laughs> but either way, it's nighttime. It's 9 p.m. And it's a try hard Thursday. So we're going to have a good time. And most people tell me anyways, damn, why don't you do your try hard Thursdays at night? Because all the good players are on at night and you just get a bunch of losers when you're on in the morning. Okay, first off, rude, because I play in the morning. And second, I hope you're wrong. Because if I lose during try hard Thursday, that's super embarrassing, huh? Bank me, daddy. Bank. Woo. Ah, fuck. I had an extra W. Darn it. You know what I was thinking? And this is the first time I'm telling you this. Is I was thinking, what if... You know how I changed my content Um, that one year on Christmas? I was thinking, what if I changed again to be family friendly like no cursing you think that would behoove me or not behoove me hello well i was asking you also okay sorry 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 anyways yeah i was thinking i wonder if i should switch my content up slightly not like crazy obviously i don't want to do anything insane that like I guess challenges who I am as a person because I never want to go that route, but I do wonder if maybe I should be more family friendly because I feel like with the way I am just as a person in general, people call me wholesome all the time. If my language doesn't connect, I guess, with the same audience as my personality, because I'm very vulgar. <laughs> so I was wondering, maybe, and like I said, I want you guys to comment. What do you think of the idea? Is it a terrible idea? Is it like, have you been waiting for something like this to happen? Am I about to get completely murdered? Please don't kill me. I'm fragile. Mannequins? Nope. I died. That's okay. Bluestone kind of kind of crapped on me there. It ticked 13 times? Bluestone ticked 13 times? For only 65 damage. Now, I don't know much about Bluestone and how much damage it's supposed to do, but that seems really crappy. Only 13 times? Or it ticked 13 times for only 65 damage? Hmm. That's less than 6 damage a tick. Then again, how many times does it tick per ability? Is it... I thought it was two. But if it's more than two, then I understand it. Also, um... This is technically day number two. Of changing my DPI. So, my... My aim is a little bit iffy. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing yet. I knew you were going to do that. Also, not scared at all. Welcome to the show, bud. Okay, his meditation is down. How did he get his med up so fast? My med is still not up. This is literally exactly what I wanted. Ja and baited. Ja baited. Absolutely got him. I was waiting for my... Um, I was waiting for my meditation cooldown to come up before I showed my face because I knew the second I showed my face, any Sorka Yormi player is ulting me there. 100%. 100%. Every Sorka Yormi main in the game ults you there. Um, It is Try Hard Thursday, so I will go Breastplate. I was going to go Bancrofts just because, but Breastplate's more smart. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. He still doesn't have his transcendence, which means I'm in a great spot. Um, 
also i was reading the nuzlocke comments and they weren't negative but um a lot of them told me obviously i picked up the first blue buff that i dropped which i didn't even notice <laughs> which goes to show you how difficult that challenge is because it's just so like subconsciously planted in your brain when you kill a buff you go and pick it up um i want you guys to also comment go and edit your comment that you already made and tell me uh if you guys want me to do i guess like an updated version of that like a like a actually completed version hello do you scare me are you scared of me wow i do a crap ton of damage to you actually dumpstered i wonder if this is going to be a fiver i wonder if it's going to be a fiver my chronos is probably right now one of my best characters i don't um i don't know why i just all of a sudden just really started enjoying playing him again and he is banned pretty often just because he is a magical adc but I think he's banned actually less. I think he's banned actually less than like Soul and Oleron, which is weird to me because he seems way better than Soul and Oleron to me. Oh, I was, I honestly, for a second when I jumped that, I genuinely thought that jumping that stopped the damage. And I was like, why have I never tried that before? But nope, just because it went away. Ouch. Yeah. Darn it. Better to know things before. Don't kill me. Okay, I'm alting. It is slightly terrifying right now because me alting means that he gets a really good alt off here. I hold the secrets of life and death. Clearly, I do not want him alting me. Um Oh, I got really lucky. Well, I don't know if it was luck. It seems like luck to me. But uh basically what happened was he used his two at quite literally speaking the worst possible time. And I'm not saying that to roast him. I'm saying that because I think it um, but he uses two at quite literally the worst possible time where I can three him and because of the animation of his two, he can't actually cancel. I don't know if I'll, uh, that's like known knowledge that you can't cancel, uh, Tsukiyomi two, but yeah, because he can't cancel it, I was able to just get my complete stun off before he could alt it for the CC immunity, which just so everyone's clear, if he got that alt off, I was dead. So, <laughs> very lucky on my part and very unlucky on his part. You don't scare me. I have finished breastplate now. Yeah, my aim is something fierce right now. And by that, I mean bad. It's very bad. I have to get used... I've gotten used to my DPI. Well, I don't know if I've gotten used to it, but... I've, uh gotten much better on apex legends with my dpi change but i'm still getting used to it on smite oh that was really close i wish that killed that was a dumb thing to say obviously i wish i killed but I'm going Toxic Blade, reason being just because he has Meditation and Soul Eater or, you know, any kind of life skills really good on Tsukiyomi. I want to make sure that I kind of shut that down before it even begins. And obviously Toxic Blade is just a good item in general. Something you want. With most auto, auto attack characters, whether you're physical or magical. I can go get it, right? It's only 1650. Oh, very tanky. That runic shield. That runic shield, man. 
It do be doobian. I missed. I'm getting actually crapped on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Do that. Perfect. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, that was really close. Holy crap. That fight was so close. I didn't get the kill, but neither did he, so we take those. Backing. Okay. Um Dang, that fight was actually kind of an indicator that I need a little bit more damage in my build, and I don't think Toxic Blade is going to be able to hold up the amount of damage output that I need currently in order to keep a lead. Um, I am thinking potentially just going Demonic here, which I almost never do. Demonic over Telekines. Or, I'm sorry, it's technically Telekine. But that pisses me off, so I'm going to say Telekines. Um, I, I, I just can't, I, I can't do it. I would love to go demonic because he is tanky, but then in the back of my head, I'm just like, but damage, you know, like he's tanky, but like an extra number every time you auto attack, that's pretty cool. Isn't it? Like, <laughs> it's like such a six year old mindset, but I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's just the best way to, to go about the game. An extra 30 damage every time you auto? That's way better than winning the game. And it's not even 30, by the way. It's literally 19. I'm doing an extra 19 damage for auto. Okay, I'm ulting. Ow. Oh, good jukes, man. Good jukes. Makes me mad that you're better than me, but good job. His blue buff is up, which means it is going to be down and out by yours truly. Take that. Let's see. Are you going beat stick? You did. All right. That cancels any kind of plan I had of going Bancroft, which is fine by me. No worries. I can go ahead and grab tier 2 Toxic Blade now. I my, I think my damage is pretty good. With the Telkines, I, I'm I'm pretty chilling now in terms of damage. I'm three levels ahead of him too, so I am not feeling at all bad in my position in the game. Let's see, where is you at? Oh god. Huge stun. Great damage output there. Stacking the mannequins super fast before I use any abilities in order to maximize the tick damage I'm getting from my man from my mannequins. That's something that I do that I, I don't really think about ever saying, but it is something important when it comes down to min-maxing your damage output. Just making sure that you are auto-attacking before using abilities when you have mannequins in order to stack it so that you're doing, you know, that much more damage per fight. Also, it's not something you do on every god. It's only what gods... Or you only do that when you're playing gods that have a stun and are auto-attack oriented, which is actually not that many gods. Like, there's on her on occasion, not even all the time. There's on her on occasion, there's Kali, there's Kronos. I'm sure I could name more if I thought about it for more than three and a half seconds, but... Wow, that did a lot of damage to me. Don't mind if I already did take that back. Uh, I'm not wasting time using my one here because it was actually more beneficial. Um, it was more beneficial than using my one just to make sure that I was landing my auto attacks because I used my two in my extra auto attack damage quadrant. So... Using my one would actually lower my DPS output, which w would have probably lost me the fight. Especially because it's so much easier to miss than, than you know, an auto attack. 
Uh, I don't know if he has alt or not, so I'm going to be extra cautious and back way the hell up. 11 HP. Please don't have alt. Please don't have alt. Good stuff. We got Toxic Blade online. I'll go ahead and I'll grab tier two of my demonic that I was going to buy a second item that I decided not to. Level 15, so you definitely don't scare me in terms of, like, counterplay. The only thing that could go wrong in this game from this point forward is me diving just a little bit too greedy and dying to an alt after getting hit by Titan for, like, 1,500 damage. That's what would really set this game back, because I am so far ahead. Um... If I die, he's getting a thousand gold and nine hundred XP. So he's he's getting a whole bunch of advantage if, if I die a single time this game. So it is my job to make sure that does not happen. If he somehow does get a kill because I'm a little bit too greedy with Titan, or even greedy with Fountain, because I know myself and I do go in the Fountain on occasion. Um If I do get just a little bit too greedy, it could change the title of the whole game. That being said, I feel like I am doing great right now. Okay, that was almost the exact thing I was saying. But he can't get away from me. There we go. Perfect. That's GG. Game number one. Try Hard Thursday completed. I guess I will see you guys in game number two. Thank you for watching. And again, make sure to comment on um, what I asked you to comment about during this game. And yeah, I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number two. Welcome back. I'm playing Anubis. I haven't played Anubis in quite a long time. Um, I'm not really sure why. I don't think he's that bad. But uh, I am fighting an Oleron, so I am kind of fighting an uphill battle right now. Just because, in general, uh, at least what I believe to be true is that magical ADCs run the game right now, and... It goes like Magical ADC, Normal ADC, and then Warrior. They're like the top tier. So mages are kind of left in the in the butt cheeks of the game. A little, little butt crack action for the mages. But even being in the, in the butt crack is not that bad on occasion, you know? So I'm whipping out the Anubis. I'm whipping out the Anubis. Like I said, I'm punching uphill. But we'll see if, uh, if I can make it work regardless. I don't have starter item yet i am gonna go boombas obviously i'm not that stupid but uh, i don't have a starter item yet which means that he can get all of his heart's content in terms of buffs at the very beginning of the game i'm using my face so that that stops that just a little bit i use my face to stop his one from uh clearing wave which actually gives me significantly better wave clear he does win the fights obviously mannequin scepter is a little bit op um on auto attack mages so, just keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. I don't need to use my three, by the way, if I plan on clearing. I just have to make sure. Ah, oh, crap. I just have to make sure that um, I am not losing out on damage from my one. As long as I'm not losing out on damage from my one, then my one will clear the wave. Okay, you are doing a significant amount of numbies. Anakin Scepter, very big ouchie. That was huge damage. Oh, mannequins. Or not mannequins, I'm sorry, meditation. Alright. Tell me my three clears at backline. It does not. Terrifying. I need to hit level five here. I can't use any mana. Okay, he will die here if I land my my abilities correctly. And there we go. I did it. All it takes is a little bit more focus than what I'm usually able to provide. But when I shut up and I aim, sometimes I can get it done. Good kill. Sipping on some cocky right now. Blue, red. I, I don't think I want red. 
I actually think blue is much, 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 much better for me. The early game Anubis. My damage output as Anubis in general is like nuts. So I don't think I need to worry about that. Stand in front of the wave so that he can't clear. And if you're going to give me the red, I'm down to take it. Like, I'm not going to pick it up because I don't care that much about it. But like, if I can stop you from having it, all the better. All the better. Ouch. I'm okay to take some damage here. Use my face for the, the better of the wave. Just because of uh, my Bancrofts. My Bancrofts keeps me real healthy. Make sure that he's a little bit scared of me. Now, he hasn't ulted yet. Keep that in mind. He definitely can whip out an ult. I can hit up the corner, though. Little Sam the Dude in corner. Haven't done that in a hot minute, huh? Let's see if we can catch him off guard here. He doesn't have beads. I'm not full health, so Bancroft is giving me some more damage. Oh! Looks like we got a fan on our hands. And also looks like it doesn't matter. Let's go, boys. Sam the Dude corner complete. Uh, okay. I just used my one on a single minion. That might have been the worst one I've ever done as Anubis. No, I'm sure there's a time where I've hit nothing. I'm sure there's a time where I've hit nothing. I hope. I Well, no. I shouldn't say hope. Because if there is a time that I did not, or I hit nothing, that means that I hit nothing one time when I used the Anubis one. I could probably kill him here. Wow, that one lasts a super long time when you're sitting in all around alt. Oh my god. I felt like I could have graduated college with my, my like PhD. Just in the time it took for that one to go off. By the way, the pauses that you hear are me taking sips of coffee. I know, I said it was 9 p.m. But I'm starting my work day right now, so don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> Sometimes you have those days. I mean, a lot of people, I guess, can't afford that those days. So I'm lucky. But for me, sometimes I just have those days where I, I work at night instead of in the morning. I will say I like working in the morning more, though, just because I feel like a productive human being, which doesn't happen very often as a YouTuber. I think I'm just going to alt him. It was close. It was close. There we go. Incredible damage. No, I'm still, I'm still sick on the on the Anubis, huh? I really like Anubis. Oh my! I just realized I bought Breastplate against Oleron. What the? F how? This is me tryharding. Me tryharding is buying breastplate against Oleron. I'm an absolute clown. There's nothing that explains who I am more as a person than an absolute clown. I can't believe it. Well, you know what? I'm going to hold that L for as long as I possibly live. <laughs> but I will I will sell the item. I'm not I'm not keeping the item. I'll keep the shame, right? No doubt about it. I'll keep the shame. I'll hold on to that like a badge of honor. But I will not keep the honor. Uh, and by honor I mean item. Come here. Never mind. You scare me? Even your backing animation is slower. All right, sell this garbage. I'm just going to go more damage to hide my shame. And I'm going to go blink, obviously, because blink Anubis is where it's at. I'm 1.7 gay. Gay. <laughs> I said 1.7 gay. Uh, I'm 1.7 K ahead of him. 
and gold. So this should be no hard task. Just blinking in and killing. I do just so much. Just so much damage. Anubis is so annoying. It's alright though. I can't get this Phoenix. I do 60 damage per auto. I want to get the blue, but I can't. Come to me, friend. Um, I have my alt in two seconds. So check this out. There it is. There it is. The Bancroft's Typhons. The super lifesteal build coming in clutch. He got tier 2 defense. I was wondering how he lived through my ult. I hit him with 19 ticks of my ult. I hit him with, I guess, like 60% of my ult. A little more than 60% of my ult. Which normally kills people. So, I'm impressed. 104 damage per tick. Not bad, actually. I'm wondering if I should just go Spear instead of uh, Divine. But he does have Bancroft, so it would kind of be stupid not to go Divine, huh? My name is Sam. My middle name is Stupid. Hmm. Very curious. Did you go this way? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, back up. Back up. Run back. Run back. This is my Phoenix. I signed the waiver. Here we go. Phoenix down. He did finish Pestilence. I don't think I... Well, mm, I'm going to say I don't think I win the fight, but I think I probably do as long as I hit my three and my ult. That's kind of a lot to ask when I only have 200 mana. Because if I even slightly miss any of the ability, I die. So, better off just to back up. You're doing my blue. And not only is that disrespectful, but it's also hurtful. Where are you? Where are you? I'm actually terrible at video games. Oh, no, please. Oh, my life. Come back to me. Come back to me. Oh, there you go. GG, friend. He's dead for 16 seconds. I have a half health fire minion wave. I actually don't know if this is enough to kill the Titan. We're only 10 minutes into the game. Technically, 11 now. So my minions aren't that tanky, actually. I don't think I have enough to win here. I do not. I do not. I do not. Okay. The live and you learn. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage to me. Ouch. Titan, can you die? Be a bro. Be a bro and fake it. Alright, he does have beads, but I'm also not scared of him. Alright, now I could end the game. Obviously, he's he's a little bit... He's a little bit taken aback by my minion wave here. So I definitely could have won the game by just hitting his... Uh, his titan, but I felt like that would be pretty... Disgusting. So we went and we fought him anyways. We got the kill and he surrendered. GG, game number two. Um, I will see you guys in game number three. Thanks for sticking along so far. Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Leather Squad? I think this is game three. It might be game four. I'm not sure. I tried recording a game before this. <clears throat> Unfortunately for me, my mic was muted. I never normally mute my mic in between games, but I did this time because I was talking and it just kind of... 
kind of forgot to unmute it. So that's my bad. It's my mistake. It was a Bakasura game. And I actually... It was a pretty decent game against the Tsukuyomi. I ended up winning it. For those wondering. Uh, let me go ahead and throw up the MMR. I've not been doing that this... this uh, video. That's my bad. He actually has... 15! No, not even 15. He has... Was that? 13 more MMR than me. He's at 3150. And I'm at 3138. So this should be a really good game. I actually don't know who this is, so... Should be interesting. Quite, 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 quite. He has no starter item. So he's just gonna run away. Fine by me. I mean, I'm pretty sure that he's not going to kill me or anything here. And he doesn't clear the wave with one ability. I know that because I played quite a bit of Scylla in my day. So him being aggressive on me here seems like a misplay. Seems like a misplay. I outcleared. I got the buff. I do have the starter item, so... Oh, I am missing my autos, though, against him, which is not an indication that I'm playing the best right now. But you know what? That's okay. He's got to use his ability on the wave. Means I get free reign over this blue buff. And if he does want to come over to this blue buff, he may just die. But he didn't commit over to the blue. That's all right. Fine by me. He has meditation. He does not have... Oh, I don't have the mana. Damn. Damn. I could have probably killed if I meted beforehand. Very nice. Very nice kill. Um, I am actually going to do some tower damage here because I'm not too worried about him getting buff control over me. And what I am worried about is late game Scylla actually popping TF off. That scares me. So instead, I'm just going to, like I said, back out here. Not going to do anything insane. Nothing crazy. Because he has a hard time clearing the wave still. Like I said, this whole game so far. So I have a little bit of extra leeway to uh, be aggressive and hit that tower early on. And maybe make this game a bit of a shorter one. Because late game Scylla, man. When she's got max cooldown. And that too is hitting for... 1500 damage each time she throws it out. That's when you're scared. That's when you're scared of Scylla. Early game, you are just a big bully against Scylla. Like, it doesn't scare anyone. Early game, Scylla scares absolutely no one. Alright, just clear these out. Big deal. Are you actually backing? You are? Okay. Through the wave. Back once again. I'll get my, um... My ring of Hakate online here. He did get Bancroft. I don't think I'm that scared of the Bancrofts. Unless he lands a nice ult when I'm low HP, which... To be fair, could happen, because I don't have beads. Um... But unless that happens, I mean, I'm, I'm completely... I mean, look at this damage. Like, yes, he's clearing, but at what cost, you know? At what cost are you actually clearing? Keep in mind, he does have blink. Or not blink, I'm sorry, but he does have a uh, alt. Perfect. Perfect, perfect gameplay. I'm actually so happy that I got that off because I knew the second that I ulted, he was just going to turn and run. Right? Because, I mean, that's what you should do. When an Ola on ult, you just get the hell out of the ult. Um, my game plan was to ult and use the ult in order to increase my movement speed 
because I knew that the teleport at low rank, uh, Scylla's teleport at low rank actually does not go a very far distance. So my game plan was not necessarily to uh, have her trapped in my ult very long, but to make sure that I utilize her being trapped in my ult by catching up and being able to land the killing, I guess technically killing auto attack. After the three was up and I got it. Very nice. I am running this game. I am I am in full control. I've gotten every buff in the game, every XP camp in the game. I've gotten two kills, no deaths. And I'm gonna keep my lead by being hyper defensive and going into a Genji's right now or a Shogun's. I'm not really sure which one I want right now, but one of the two defensive items. And then after that, I think I just go to Bull Demon. Bull Demon is going to be a little bit of a tricky one. I'm sure you all know why, because, you know, Scylla ult, but... He hasn't utilized Scylla ult yet this entire game. So I'm hoping maybe... Maybe he just doesn't want to for some reason. Or maybe he just hasn't found the right time to use it. That's more than likely it. He's been waiting to see if he can lock me in a cage. Mm, I think I'm going to go Shoguns. I want more attack speed. I don't care too much about Genjis. His damage is getting up there. Do you have anything in blood red? Kind of terrifying. Kind of terrifying. The faster his damage gets up there, the scarier it gets, man. Like, every second that passes, he's he's got a higher chance of winning this game than I do. Like, obviously not just because it gets to late game, he doesn't win, but... I mean, when, you're, when your base ability hits for 1,100 damage, there's a good chance you win by default, you know? <laughs> so, assuming you actually hit that ability... I'm kind of banking on getting Bull Demon soon. And I hope that's enough. Problem is I have 0% crit chance. And he is... Still low. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, is it bad that I'm not scared? He landed his alt and his two. And I'm still completely okay. Yeah, he has divine, but like, so what? Look how much more damage I'm doing than you. And you're not even healing that much. He has Bancrofts. Fair, fair. He does a Bancrofts. Now, did you get your blue or did you back? All right. Did get your blue. Hmm. It looks like I'm going to have to wait for another damage item in order to, to start doing uh, Bull Demon. He did come in with the ult a little bit early, though. I'll admit. Just a tad bit too early. Kind of makes me think that he uh, thinks I do more damage than I actually do, which is good. It's good that he thinks that because it means uh, he's scared. It means he's in the back foot. That uh, being said, he does Bull Demon himself. I'm kind of SOL.
Okay. Alright, I think we can go to Bull Demon now. I pushed him out. I made him back. I also backed, but I got a big power spike in the form of Telekines, and he did not get that same power spike. I would love to fight him one more time before going to blue to maybe force out his, his alt. Or not blue, I'm sorry. Bull Demon. To maybe force out his alt. But who knows? Your little damage doesn't scare me. Not yet, at least. Hmm. I'm going to just auto attack this wall. And maybe he'll think it's Bull Demon. It looks like he did not think it was Bull Demon. I actually want him to ult this. Ah, uh, he's not going to. He's too smart for that. I respect this guy, man. He's, he's really playing the game. Perfect. So perfect. He wanted to blink over the wall there. And I knew he did. So what I was doing was... The second that he went over the wall... And I'm not sure if this is actually true or not, but I I think it is. I think it is because Oleron ult slows time by 40%. And I had my mannequins ticking on him. He ulted over the wall with mannequins still ticking on him. And I think because of the ult, his timer on his blink actually slowed down. And I was able to get to him in time. All right, you do have to run though, like... You actually cannot fight me. He has no defense at all, too. So, I'm... I'm doing a whole bunch of damage. Everything I hit him with hurts. Twice as hard as it normally should. I don't mind. I don't mind anything happening here. We'll get the buff. Next item, maybe... Maybe a divine myself, actually. I would kind of like to go... I would kind of like to go Toxic Blade, but... I think, you know, with my two active, I already have 2.5. And going Toxic Blade just for more attack speed while my two is down is kind of irrelevant. Because of the fact that my two... The cooldown is only three seconds, so it's not going to be down that often. All right, so let's just go. Maybe I go poly, actually. Or doom orb. Or typhons. I'm actually down for typhons. Reason being, because Typhons, the extra life steal you get with that, kind of counters out Divine. Divine's 40%, uh, and this is 30% increase, so... He's only lowering my life steal by 10%. So it feels really good, and also it gives me a bit of a... And... Which is nice. Oh man. All that damage. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Those auto attacks just come flying out at light speed. Uh, when you're attack speed capped in Oleron alt, you're actually going 40% faster than attack speed cap. So you're almost going at 3.75 attack speed. It's more like 3.6 attack speed. 
So it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. Plus 100 MMR. Not bad. Sitting at 32.38. Um, and yeah, let's go into the next game. You guys there. Yo, what's going on, boys? Probably the last game of the video. Hopefully we hit the one hour mark. I have been recording for an hour and a half, but I did have that one game, like I said, where I was muted and things went a little bit awry. And also I stopped to eat a little bit. Um, with my, I ate my dinner. So who knows, who knows how long the video is going to be, but I like to, I tend to keep these videos between 50 minutes to like an hour and 10 just to make sure that they're still bingeable by some people. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this lands around there. We will see. I'm playing Hades and as my last game. Hopefully we get a good opponent. Hopefully we get someone that's not playing anything ridiculously overpowered. Yoga Mesh is good, but not ridiculously overpowered. So I would say, okay, I'm down for this. I'm down for this. Razito 1999. How old are you if you're born in 1999? You're 22. All right. Soul is mine. All right, respectable. <laughs> MMR should be popping up shortly. I'm sorry I forgot to do it in the um, the other matches. I did it in one of the matches, but not not in the of the others. <laughs> Excuse me, man. Uh, yeah, I'll go shell. There you see the MMR. I'm at 3238. He is at 1846. He's in diamond five. Bit of a gap there, <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. And this is his chance to prove himself. Prove that you can crap all over me. Wait, am I in Masters or am, am I in GM? Okay, I'm in GM. I was wondering, because if I was if I was 32, 38 MMR and still in Masters, that's some bloated ass elo. It's a very predictable way. A very predictable that you wanted to kick me into the wall there. My man's got the juke boots on. He went tainted seal with tier one defense, so he's gonna do absolute zero damage to me. Uh, I am also doing absolute zero damage though, apparently. Okay. Definitely do not scare me. Most of his mana is gone. Alright. We'll clear the wave. You now have to deal with the whole wave. Using meditation in order to have to clear the wave. That does feel really bad. Let's see if he... Uh, if he wants this red. He's not jumping over here for it. He just conceded red buff and backed. That's fair. That's fair. I do really want his buff. So I'm actually going to try for it. I normally don't do this when I play this god. Okay. You do not scare me. We got half of his HP, and we did get the blue buff as well. I mean, like, it's just the fact that you don't do too much damage. You know? Like, ulting me and going all Rambo mode and shit, it just doesn't work when you hit me for six. You know what I mean? Um, okay, I'll admit a little bit closer than comfort. A little close, but we did get a kill. We get did get the first blood. He got my blue with the last hit, but that's fine. That's fine. We got first blood. He can take the blue as long as I get the kill. He's very difficult to kill with Tainted Seal and Tier 1 Defense. Just like rushing it like that. It's so hard to really do anything to him. I'm hoping... I mean, my build is very late game oriented, obviously. 
It's just about doing all the damage. Perfect. Very, very perfect alt there. All I had to do was wait for him to turn and use his kick. If he didn't turn and use his kick, I would have just ulted anyways. I was in range. Um, but the only way I mess that up is if, if I'm just on the edge and then he kicks forward. Because the kick does give you like a very, very small bump forward. He maybe could have gotten out at that point, but it would not have been would not have been much. I think he got a lot of attack speed. But his shogun's online, that's why. Understood. Still not scary though. You're not really doing the damage I think you need to be doing in order to be scary. Just yet. Um he will be doing a pretty significant amount of damage if he goes crush her next item, because he'll have a lot of attack speed at that point. We'll have a lot of attack speed at that point, but... I mean, dude, this just is not it. Like, why ult? Why ult that? Red buff? I didn't even get red buff. You altered that for no reason. I don't know. I think starting defense can work. But only if you're fighting somebody who can't clear the wave. Like, if they can't clear the wave and you start defense, then fine. You know, then then they can't hurt you and they can't clear the wave and you're in the clear. But I, I have one of the best wave clears in the entire game. In the entire game, man. Hades is just OP. So, I don't think the build is really working out the way you wanted it to. But again, I mean, who knows? Who knows what could happen? Late game, like late, 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 level 20 type stuff. He is going to lose. I, like, I'm pretty confident about that. I'll have Boomba's hammer and he will not because he had Tainted Steel. So I'm pretty confident I can beat him if we get to level 20. I think to level 20 could be a slight issue though. I don't know. He's being really aggressive. Nothing really to come of it yet, but I don't know. Maybe something will. Who knows? Weirder stuff has happened, I suppose. Okay. I was hoping you would jump on me there. So I can go get a full breastplate, which I do want to do, but I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll clear this wave. Why not? I could go poly as well, but just because of the fact that I'm already ahead and the only damage he's really doing to me right now is because of pure attack speed and the fact that he's maxing his one, which is his extra damage steroid. Um, Because those are the only two things really keeping in the game. If I just grab my breastplate now, it kind of just solidifies my, my lead. Now it's going to be very hard for him to make a comeback. Okay. Yeah, I mean, even under tower that entire time, pretty much. It's just... So much damage. He's acting like he can stop me, but I'm I'm pretty sure he knows he can't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jump was good. Okay, I'll admit the jump was good. They catch me off guard. I thought he was just gonna back because he didn't think I could kill him. Why was I wrong? But that's okay. Um, I could go poly, but I think 
Actually, no, I think I will go poly. I was going to say I could go poly, but I don't think I'm going to just because of the fact that he's so tanky right now. But, I mean, that'll kind of sort itself out with the Boomba's hammer. He's going Frostbound. He's going beat stick, stuff like that. So, his whole goal is to punch me in the head while I can't move. He did red. He's doing blue. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. That kill definitely helped him get back in the game. However, I don't think that kill itself is enough. Also, he's buying like 75 different items. I know I know two of these tier one items are just from his passive. Like this was his passive and this is. But like it still makes his build look super weird. Hello? Are you okay though? Oh, you are so low HP, my guy. You should be dead here. Here we go. Very nice. Big kill. Wait for Tainted Seal to run out for the big heal. Thank you. And this should be Tower. I can go get my Polly as well. Um... I don't think I need to hit the tower in order to get it. So I'm actually just going to back. Turns out I did need to hit the tower because the minion wave was coming in. Unfortunate, but still okay. Yeah, he's going Toxic Blade now. Shogun's Frostbound Toxic Blade and these two items. These two items are the, uh, the passive. But I got to admit, man, for an 1800 MMR player, like his decision making is not bad. A lot of times, when you get a lower MMR player, it's the fact that their decision making is the issue. But for him, it seems like it's not really an issue at all. Like, it was a decent cho choice to fight that. Because he knew he was losing tower if he didn't. Unfortunately, if he had just waited for... If he had a lost tower... Waited for Toxic Blade and then fought that. I think he actually would have gotten a kill. But it's hard to wait for a power spike when there's, you know, when there when there's some, something being threatened, a lot of times you feel like the immediate reaction or like it needs an immediate reaction. So you, you feel the need to just, I don't care if I don't win the fight, I got to do something, you know, but not really how it goes. Okay, he altered the wave, so it does... It does do one big suck, but I think I can get red here. I have both relics. If need be. Wow, that did a lot of damage. He wants to fight. He's gonna have to fight me under tower, which I don't think he wants to do. Pretty sure we'd lose that fight badly, so he's just gonna run away. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go Charon's coin. Reason being, twenty for or twenty percent pen is is pretty good. I could go Soul Reaver, which is what I was actually thinking about going. Pretty much this entire game, I was I had it in my head that I wanted Soul Reaver, but among more thought, I figured why not just go Charon's. You know, it's not a bad item. Probably just run. He's holding his jump. He's holding his jump, so I won't be able to get that that kill. That's all right, though. See if maybe we can do bull demon. I'm going to ult this. Because I really think that I can do it. Perfect. Now, normally, you don't do Bull Demon as Hades. It's, a, it's pretty hard to do when you have crappy cooldowns. Um, But, you know, I guess there's scenarios when you can. There you go. 
He immediately altered the wave. I do not care about anything you have to say to me. Go away. I'm pretty sure you don't win this fight at all. Oh, uh, if you get the stun off, you do. I tried to one the stun. Kind of a fun thing to say. I tried to one the stun. I tried to jump the stun. And I, I thought I did, honestly. I really thought I did, but... Unfortunately, I didn't. My thorns must have done so much damage to him. Okay, never mind. It only did 30. My thorns did 330 damage in 20 hits. 20. What the hell? Actually, what the hell? That's insane. Once he gets kins, that's going to start hurting, man. That attack speed is going to start hurting once he gets kins online. I will say, though, the longer this game goes, the better I'm sitting. The more pretty I'm sitting. Every minute that passes, every wave I clear that gets me to closer to level 20. That is going to win me the game. And by the way, my next items are Midguardian Mail and uh, Boomba's Hammer. We got I don't think we got his alt. I mean we got we did get his alt. I don't think we got anything other than his alt. What I wanted to say. Yeah, no, I'm I'm sitting okay, man. I'm sitting okay. It is pretty hard to kill him right now just because I don't have the cooldown that I need. And he is going double defense with Frostbound Hammer, so he's very tanky. So it is a little bit annoying to kill. Um, that being said, I do feel pretty safe at the same time. Like even though I'm not killing him, I don't feel like I'm going to die instantly if he gets next to me. So that's good. That is good. He doesn't have beads for the fear. I mean, if he just wants to farm this up till we're both level 20, I'm completely okay with that because I have 20% pen. And he's going to go triple defense with Shogun's Tainted Amulet and Pestilence. So, I mean, if this is what he wants to play, I'm okay with it. I honestly am. I don't think... Uh, I don't think you win this game like this. Really do not. That being said, I am holding my one because I feel like I might need to. Are you backing? All right, nice. Get a solid poly auto on the Phoenix here. Nice little 300, 300 damage burst on the Phoenix for no reason. Other than the fact that he let me pretty much. Okay. His one is down, his two is down. And yeah, I mean, he's completely full build, right? Like, I know the next item he's getting is Tainted Amulet, and then after that, it's over. He doesn't know that I'm still going... Um, that I'm going Boomba Spear and then Mid Guardian Mail. Like, I'm in a great spot here. It's just a matter of time right now. Just farming, getting the level 20 in time. He thinks he's in control. And honestly, I'd like to keep it that way. I would honestly like to keep it that way. I think the second he knows I'm the one in control is the second he gets scared and does something that could potentially turn the tides. Once I get this red buff here, I can back. I can get my Boomba's Hammer, Tier 2 Mystical Mail, or, or Mid Guardian Mail, and have red buff. That's going to be gigantic. That's going to be a huge help for me. Okay. That is level 20. Now, I am going to have to clear this wave because he is here. He's maybe doing Bold Demon, but if he is, I'm actually okay with that. Because I don't think... I don't think he ever actually gets Phoenix or anything. Like, he can take my tower. I don't care about that, but... 
Don't get Phoenix. Perfect. Booba's hammer complete. And mid guardian coming online now. Here are two of it only, so his attack speed's not being slowed yet. But the fact that I have max cooldown now and um extra cooldown resets because of it. Oh man, you guys are gonna see a whole different world now, baby. Oh, you lived. Meditation. Ah. Uh, all right. I didn't kill, but we did get everything from him, so. Man, it's crazy how that one item, that one item changes the tide of everything. I immediately have no cooldowns. I have no fear of losing a fight. You know, it's just like, Jesus, dude, it's it's insane. It really is. Mm. Man. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. I don't think I will. Like, holy shit, dude. 12 Boombas procs. He sold, uh, what did he sell? What did he have there? He's selling... I mean, I'm not exactly sure what he's selling, to be honest with you, but I know it's tough. Go ahead and jump away. That's fine. I don't care. Your jump is down. I'm feeling quite confident in my kills here. And there we go. GG. Boomba's hammer, man. I told y'all. I told y'all. All you got to do is wait. It's exactly what you need. That's all. And that... It's all you need. This build catches dubs. Even if you're getting outplayed, and to be completely honest, I was. He was doing very well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I really do. Um, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you want to tell me or leave a comment that tells me what you want to see in the future. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And until next time, peace.